This is the Team Impulse video presentation. Impulse is a fast-paced, first-person platforming game with an emphasis on making snap decisions. Hi, my name is Justin Stanton, and I will be talking about the run and jumping mechanic and the wasp. Hi, I'm Stephen Palermo, and I'll be talking about wall runs. Hi, my name is Nathan. I'll be discussing Impulse's sliding mechanic. Hello, I'm Terry Bell, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the traps and obstacles that you'll be finding in our game. My name is Kyle DeCock, and I will be talking about level design for our game, Impulse. Running is the key component to Impulse's gameplay. To run, simply hold the W key down on the keyboard. You can strafe by using A and D keys. To jump, simply press the spacebar or left-click the mouse. They both work the same, it's just up to you, whichever you prefer. The longer you run in a set direction, the more momentum you gain. With more momentum, you move faster, and you can also jump further. Wall run is one of our major mechanics in the game. Players can begin a wall run by aiming at a wall and pressing the jump key. If they hit the wall before the apex of their jump, they enter the wall run. While they're in the wall run, the camera tilts away from the wall to make it easier for the player to see what they're doing. Momentum also bleeds away while in the wall run, and if it runs out completely, the avatar will fall off the wall. Wall runs can be used to get up to higher elevations, avoid traps, and look like a ninja. Sliding is one of the core mechanics in our game. In order to initiate a slide, the player simply presses and holds control or the right mouse button. Just like wall running, sliding will slowly drain the player's momentum, and he can only continue to slide as long as he still has momentum to do so. One of the key features of this mechanic is that while sliding, the player's forward direction will be preserved, but the camera can still be rotated freely, allowing the player to look around while in the slide state. When the slide button is released, the player will begin to get up and run in whatever direction he was looking. Sliding will be used primarily to avoid traps, but can also be used strategically to change directions with more precision than simply turning the camera while running alone. As of now in our levels, we have three different types of traps. We have swinging live wires, wood chippers of death, and deteriorating surfaces. Each of these types of traps function as a deadly encounter and will kill the avatar. This type of encounter will also cause the player to start from the previous area in the level, either at the beginning or at the last activated checkpoint. Okay, now I'm going to tell you a little bit about the obstacles we are using and how they work. We'll be using large gaps that cannot be cleared by a jump, forcing other actions to be utilized for that area. We will also be featuring a few physical object obstacle types like crates, moving platforms, horizontal industrial pipes, fractured walls, and half walls. All of these obstacles function as ways to slow the player down or make them use impulse reactions to guide the avatar through them. The look I was trying to capture in this level is that you're some sort of warehouse or factory building. My main goal while designing this level was trying to make the player to make quick decisions. As you can see, there are three doors that open simultaneously, making you choose a path. Once you choose the door, there will be traps in the pathway trying to kill you, and other decisions that will make you react fast later on in the level. The wasp serves two key purposes. First, it's to help teach the player how to play the game through dialogue, instead of putting a bunch of text on screen. This isn't a book! We also thought it'd be great to give the wasp feedback uh, on the player's performance, saying witty lines when they do well or pull off an awesome move, or taunting them when they do poorly and die. Secondly, it's really the driving force that's keeping the player moving forward. Constantly having a threat of something right behind them really makes all the actions feel a lot more weighted. And um, this creates a, um, a unique dynamic relationship between the player and the wasp, and adds tension throughout the gameplay. Stop, human. You cannot escape us. Here, you will see a playthrough of our three prototype levels, starting with our tutorial level. While you watch, I will explain in a little more detail what we are trying to accomplish with our game Impulse. Impulse combines simple elements to create fast-paced and unique gameplay. Impulse involves Twitch-based gameplay found in Endless Runners, mixed with finesse-based platforming that requires greater player skill than the average game. 
Multiple paths allow the player to decide how and when to utilize the avatar's movement and skills like wall run, slide, and acute turn. Wasps pressure the player to move forward, but they will have much more freedom to move about the environment. Impulse will be set in a post-apocalyptic future where robots have taken over the world and are hunting down all of the humans. The story will be primarily told not through cutscenes, but through the environment itself. Old, dilapidated factories lined with retrofitted, high-tech machinery will show a world in the process of being repurposed by uncaring robots. In addition, the wasps that are attempting to hunt down the main character will also deliver dialogue that will sometimes advance the story. In this way, Impulse will never pull control away from the player to deliver the story. We will face many challenges while developing Impulse. Ensuring that our mechanics feel tight and fluid enough to the player that they can fully immerse themselves in the game without being jerked out again by bad handling and controls will be a major concern. Similarly, the level design on each map will be time-consuming and challenging, with multiple paths and interesting obstacles and traps to test the player's mastery of our mechanics. We are excited to take on these challenges and make Impulse into an awesome game. Thank <laughs> you.